Hi YouTube, this is Pen Paper 19. I uh, just wanted to do a quick review on the Archer and Olive Acrylograph um, paint markers that I picked up. I saw a review from Amanda Rich Lee. I was really interested and I decided to go ahead and pick some up and try them out. So I have tons of Posca pens, so many Posca pens, and I also have the Arteza paint pens. These, these right here are the exact same size as these that I picked up, which are the Acrylograph 0.7 millimeters. This is in the Jewel Tone set. It comes with 10 markers, with a white, with a blending marker, and then these colors. And these are, these are all the ones that I have from Posca that are the same nib size as this, 0.7 millimeters. Um, these are two sets of markers. It was like the primary color set and I think like a pastel set. In terms of price, I would say these definitely are um, expensive. Um, I think I saw, I saw a YouTube video from Cindy, I am forgetting her last name. I think it's a hyphenated name. And she was calling these a luxury marker. She's exactly right. These are, I would say luxury. I love the form factor of this. I think it kind of reminds me of actually um, the mild liners. They're just pretty. They're, they're, you know, nicer to carry around in a little pouch everywhere you go than a bunch of these. Although these are cute too. But, you know, they're just different. These are more expensive. These are $32 for 10 pens, so that's like $3.20 a pen. These, if I add up, I got these off of Amazon. If I add up the two packs and divide it by the number of pens here, this comes out to about $2.66 per pen when I bought it off of Amazon. And so and this is, comes out to like $3.20. So yeah, this is more expensive, definitely. But I'm going to do a little review. Let me grab a couple of these markers here. I was playing with these markers the other day. I got So I picked up these and this B5 notebook from Archer and Olive. I will say these are beautiful. It makes me want to bullet journal. I mean, I'll be honest. I don't know what to do with this notebook because... I don't I don't bullet journal I I journal in um, Tomo, in Hobonichi Tomo River Papers I don't really know what to do with this but it is so so beautiful I will say this notebook and I wanted to try it with different color paper so I got the Neapolitan which is what a this is so adorable white paper white grid paper craft grid paper and black grid paper so this is me playing with the acrylographs oops I can't even see it this is me playing with the acrylographs. And I actually tested these pens out the other day on the black pages. Actually, this is really hard to see. I'm gonna see if I can, okay, no, forget it. So down here, this section was with all of the different colors of the Archer and Olive. I used, I alternated with white and then the, what I'd call her, this is like a, I don't know what that is. <laughs> peachy tone, like an ochre tone, the red, the light green, the darker olive green, the light blue, and the darker blue, which is really hard to see. And then down here, I, I swatched all of my Posca pens in the same size. They're actually, so what I will say is they're both great. I try to blend here. I will say this is, it did pill like crazy. I don't think it's an issue with the marker. Uh, I think it's actually an issue with the paper. I think this paper, uh, it didn't bleed through, so that's not an issue. I just don't think you can blend on this paper. I didn't blend on the blending palette. I tried to do it here. It doesn't really work. And then I used the acrylograph markers to do the signature Archer and Olive um, leaves. What I will say is that they're both great pens. They're fantastic. Um, they... These are um, really nice to come off. It's, it posts, the cap posts really well, nice and thin. This, the, this end little cap part with the um, clip does have a tendency when you're trying to pull this cap off the end because it's stuck on there so hard. It, it can come off, so you have to be a little bit careful. But, you know, these Poscas don't, don't post at all. But I don't know if you need it to post. But they're both 
they're both great pens, right? I mean, here's the, here's the Posca. And I, I don't know if you can hear that pen. And here's the acrylograph. Uh, this color is harder to see, so let me actually switch it to a different color. I will say this for me, at least with the, 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 this batch. I will say that I find the acrylograph to be just a tad smoother than the Posca. And I, I am not sure what it is. In terms of opacity, they're both really good. They're, they're both great all around. For whatever reason, I do find that the acrylograph is just a tad smoother. You know, and that may be a function of the, I think the acrylograph feels just the, a hair whiter, um, or broader, I should say. Even though they're both 0.7, I feel like the line that Archer and Olive puts down is just the teeniest bit broader than the Posca. And so because the Posca is just a teeny bit um, finer, I can see that lending to a little bit more scratchiness. I don't know if that's what's causing it or if there's something inherent in the nibs themselves that lend them to just a different feel. Like this one you can see, the Posca you can see, it's the whole nib. Okay, I don't know, I'm, I'm sort of making it up. I have no idea what I'm talking about, so maybe I should just stop while I'm ahead here. For whatever reason, I do find that the acrylograph is smoother. Do I think it's worth it? Honestly, I don't know what to do. I have, you know, you saw the crazy pack of acrylic pens that I have. I don't really use them. I use them on canvases and every once in a while my kids want me to do things. When we do rock painting, I use these. What I do find, what I really, really like about this is because these are more pen sized, it's really, for some reason, it's easier for me to throw these in a pencil case and take them with me and use them in a um, in a regular notebook or a regular planner. I did try it in my Hobonichi and they work great on Tomorrow River paper. I never thought of using acrylic paint pens for journaling or for normal organize or uh, normal um, calendaring, but it appears I can. And so I, I feel like in that sense, it's great. I, I find myself using this more in normal pen situations just because honestly, it looks like a pen which, you know, I guess is silly now that I know that I could just as easily use the Posca pens, but um, I don't, and I don't know why. So I think this is a little bit more expensive. I don't think it's outrageously more expensive than Posca. I do think Poscas can be pretty expensive as well. Um, if you like them, I don't think you'll go wrong with either of them. They're both really nice to use for me for whatever reason, this particular set of acrylographs anyway, are smoother and, and nicer to write with. They feel like a pen, they write like a pen. I find myself using it like a pen. So I just use this more often. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know that I need the, the fuss of the blending pen, but it's nice to have. But I mean, I don't, you know, it's not something that I would do. I'm, I'm thinking, you know, I think more art with the Posca and more pen with these or more drawing with these, but that's just psychological, I think, at the end of the day. They're both really great. I like them. I'm considering getting maybe the tropical version of the 0.7s. I really enjoy them. I I would love to come up with a good use for this notebook. If you guys have any good ideas, please let me know because I love, I love this, and I want to, frankly, buy more Archer and Olive notebooks because they are so beautiful, but at the end of the day, I don't really know what to do with them. I mean, I guess I can draw on them but is that is that using it wisely I don't know so if you have ideas for people who have way too many notebooks what could you use this for um, let me know because I really really do enjoy this and this ampersand is everything so this is my quick little review of the acrylograph paint pen I enjoy it for what it's worth but you know it's not a holy grail or anything but it's smooth and it's nice and it's pleasant thanks bye